Hey Jeep fans, Steve Blackard here again and back with the uh, generator rebuild project. Uh, we're, this, is, this is video number five and I've got the armature set up in the lathe now. So you can come over and take a look and see what I'm doing here. I've got it set up in the lathe. The first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to check for run out of the commutator. Uh, because there was some wear on the bushing in the generator, thing could wob wobble a little bit. So we're going to check on the check the runout on it. So to do that, I've got a dial indicator set up here. So I'm going to run the dial indicator in enough to zero it, get it right to zero. Okay, and then I'm going to rotate it by hand and look and see how much how much runout from zero we have. That gives me an idea how true the commutator is running. So I've got a thou, maybe two, two and a half thousandths, yeah, two and a half, three. So I'd say back and forth, we've got probably um, three and a half, four thousandths of run out here, going back and forth on either side of zero a little bit. Okay. So that's, and that's pretty common. That's not, it's, that's really not too bad. Um, but you don't want too much run out because the carbon brushes are riding on the commutator and those brushes can be bouncing back and forth and give uh, uh, an inconsistent output then if they're bouncing around too much. That's not too bad. But uh, also you can see the commutator, we showed this earlier, that you know, there's a little bit of wear from the old brushes here. So what we're going to do is the next step is I'm going to take the dial indicator off and I'm going to set up a cutting bit and we're going to true the commutator. I'm just going to cut a few thousands of an inch off that commutator to get it nice and true again. So we're going to pause it here while I change the lathe over and we'll set up and do the truing of the commutator next. Okay, G fans, I'm back again. Uh, as you can see, I've got the armature set up in the lathe and I've got a cutting tool in place. So what we're going to do here now is we're just going to true up that uh, the commutator by cutting a few thousandths of an inch off it, not much. You just want to do just enough so it runs true. So we're going to do that, and uh, uh, and so you can see see how this works. So I'm going to turn the lathe on, and here we go. Oh. Got to engage the transmission on the lathe. Let's try that again. That could just stop it. We'll just... Okay, so had a little little follow up. I didn't have the transmission engaged in the lathe, and uh, we started to stop the video. So so don't worry about that. This is just amateur videos here. So so what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and cut that through that armature a little bit here. So I'm going to start it up, and we're going to go. I may have to bring the bit in a little more. Let's just see if it starts here. Yeah, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to bring it in a few thousandths. All right. So you can see that it's just cutting a very thin amount here. Just a, a few thousandths of an inch I'm taking off. And that'll take the grooving out that's caused by the, the brushes rotting in it and occasionally you get dirt or grit in there that kind of runs a groove and this just gets that commutator nice and clean and even again. I only cut a few thousands at a time. You know, these commutators are not easily replaced and over the life of this thing, you know, this thing can be cut many times. So I don't want to take off. Don't want to take it off any more than is absolutely necessary. And I think this one cut will do it. So I'm going to get ready to stop it as we get towards the end here. All right. There. Okay. I'll shut the lathe off. Okay. So I've got a pretty smooth commutator here now. Um, I'm going to before we get all done. I'm going to polish this with some sandpaper, but. Now, I only cut a little bit off of this. There still has, the grooves are still there, which is good. Because um, if, I'd, if I'd had to take a lot off to get to the point where I'm cutting the commutator down to where the level of the mica is, I would need to re-cut that mica. It's called undercutting, and it needs to be below the level of the copper. So there's another tool that does that. Now, I don't need to do it on this one, but I'm going to show you the tool just so you can see what it looks like. So we're going to walk over here back into the, uh, the other shop. And 
So this is a mica undercutting tool here. And you can see I've got another, just an old junk armature set up here. And what it is, there's a tiny, tiny, looks like a circular saw blade about the size of a pencil eraser on the end of this shaft. And so what I would do is rotate the commutator and then I would lower this down to that saw blade fits in the groove and then I would move it back and forth just to recut that mica and then I would rotate it to the next slot move it back and forth cut that mica and move it do again and do that all the way around until I've recut that mica down below the surface a little bit now fortunately this one is in good shape so I don't need to do this but uh, uh, but it's it's uh, if I needed to that's what I would be doing so the next step I'm going to do, and I'm not going to show this, but I'm just going to take a little shoe shine, some 400 grit sandpaper, and just polish the commutator just to smooth it up really good. And then I need to make sure that the grooves are clear, that none of this, the copper grit is in between in these little grooves, because that could short the bars together. So I'll clean that out with that toothpick like I showed you, and we'll have that commutator about ready to go. So that's it for this episode. Um, sorry about the little hiccup with our video, but you know we're amateurs. We're still trying to figure this stuff out. So hope you find this useful. Uh, again, if you've got any questions, put it in the comments, and, and I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks a lot. See you all later.